Okay, there's going to be a lot of OK Google in this video, so be sure to turn off your Google Assistant if you don't want me to trigger it. In one of our previous videos, we showed you how to control your Fi TV stick with Amazon Echo Dot. If you haven't seen that video, click on the YouTube cards to watch that. And by the title of this video, you probably guess that you can control your Android-based TV box or your streaming device like Nvidia Shield, Mi Box, be it whatever, with Google Home and its voice commands. Now most Android TVs come with a Google Assistant built into it, but if you connect it with a Google Home, you can have a much better experience completely hands-free. Say, for instance, you can say, OK Google, play Joker trailer from YouTube on Shield. And guess what, even if you don't have any Google Home devices, you can still use your Google Assistant from your phone to control your Android TV. How about that? Let's see how it's done, shall we? Let's start with Android TV and streaming boxes like Shield TV and Mi Box. If you have a Chromecast, I'll leave a link in the description below on how to set it up with Google Home. The steps are pretty much similar though. Power on Google Home Mini and download the Google Home app on your smartphone. The app will automatically detect the Google Home Mini. If it doesn't, go to Devices and select Add Devices and follow the on-screen instructions. Next, choose the room where your Google Home Mini will be located and then tap Next. Next, choose the room where your Wi-Fi Home Mini will be located and tap Next. Now choose your home Wi-Fi and enter the password. You can further customize it by adding more information like training the AI with your voice and your address to get more personalized results. Now head over to your Android TV settings and check if you're connected to the same Wi-Fi and email address. For me, it's the same Wi-Fi and email. Now go back to the Google Home app on your smartphone and you should be able to see Google Home and Android TV, Shield in my case, listed under local devices. Next, you need to link services like Netflix and Spotify. To do so, tap on the profile icon on the bottom right of the screen to bring up the settings menu. From here, navigate to the service tab, tapping on music and selecting Spotify from there. And then you can log into your account. You can also do this for other music services as well. Next, link your Netflix account by going to photos and video option and link it to by signing into your account. You also need to specify users here, which is going to be the default user every time you play Netflix via Google Home. And in case you want pictures on your Android, you can also enable Google Photos from the same windows. And finally, if you have multiple Chromecast enabled devices in your home, like Mi Box, Shield TV or Android TV, then you set one of them as default by going to device settings of your speaker, that is Google Home, and then choose default TV from the list, set the one that you want as default, in my case it's going to be Shield TV. And that's it, now your Android TV is linked to your Google Home. You can even send voice commands from your Google Home to your Android TV, for instance, OK Google, play Stranger Things on Netflix. OK Google, pause. OK Google, next episode. Hey Google, exit. OK Google, open YouTube. OK Google, skip ahead 90 seconds. Hey Google, show my personal photos on Shield. Hey Google, set Shield TV volume to 7. Hey Google, next video on YouTube.
best part is, if your TV supports HDMI CEC, then you can use Google Home to tell your Shield TV to turn on or off. We have a detailed video on that, which I'll leave in the description below or YouTube cards, so keep an eye out for that. And that's how you use Google Home with Android TV or streaming devices, like Chromecast. Speaking of Chromecast, we've done plenty of videos like best apps and tips and tricks, so give them a watch. And by the way, check out SmartDNSProxy.com if you're keen to unblock geo-restricted content on sites like Netflix, Hulu, Pandora, Amazon Prime Video, there's a bunch of those. We've done videos on how to set it up on all streaming devices, so if you're keen on that, you know what to do. I'm Vamzi, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.